Yeah. What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you do that before you leave. So we are here to talk about face scanning in NBA 2K19. This is a crucial time where summer starts blending kind of into the fall and school is about to start and some of our favorite video games are dropping. Now the reason why I'm making this video a month prior to the game's release or the app's release, which we'll talk about later in the video, is because I need to make sure that we are all on the same page as a community where we make sure that we've done everything that we need to do to make sure we've done everything possible to have the perfect face scan in our eyes. Now, we know that there will be problems out of our control, such as a pimple, a flare up, you know, anything could happen to your face before the game drops and you won't be able to get that face scan done. But here today, I'm gonna to tell you guys everything that you can do to make sure your face scan is on point. So the number one thing on everybody's list should be, do I have the right phone and the right camera for this to work. Now we already know that NBA 2K had adopted the PlayStation camera, the Xbox One camera to take those photos for us, but they realized they had to go mobile because without mobile cameras, which are way better than the, the Sony and the Microsoft counterparts, they needed to make sure that the software that they dropped was good enough and they needed to make sure that they have a good enough phone to do that. So I'm gonna list the top three phones that you guys will need to make sure your face scan is on point. The first phone, of course, is an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, something is wrong with you. I'm an iPhone fan, you guys already know, iPod's in my name. But for me, I have the iPhone X. If you don't have an iPhone X, go with the iPhone 8. If you don't have an iPhone 8, go 7. If you don't have 7, go 6. I wouldn't go any lower than that. I wouldn't go to an iPhone 5 because I'm telling you now, you ain't going to be looking too good or the app just might not work with that feature of that phone. Because remember, the second phone will have to be Samsung. Everybody knows that Samsung is a great phone, but me, I'm just not a, a fan of Android and their, you know, their Pi and all that. And I, I don't like none of that stuff. But Samsung S9s, uh, Galaxy Notes, you can, you can use those type of phones. It ain't going to hurt your chances, but I'm going to just let you know now, everything really is built for an iPhone. So if you don't really have an iPhone, you're kind of holding that L. But I'm just saying, the third phone on that list will probably have to be a Pixel or a Google phone of some sorts. Now, if you do have one of those phones, if you're one of the many few who like those type of phones, maybe HTC or something like that, go on ahead. But the top two on the list will be iPhone and then Samsung after that. So I will get up on one of the newest phones from those brands to make sure your face scan is on point. The second thing that you guys will need to be on your list is daylight. I know a lot of people always stress uh, iPod. And you know, this has been going on every year since face scanning came out. Uh, iPod, um, what type of lighting do I need? Uh, where should I take my face scan? Now remember, when we were working with PlayStation cameras and Xbox cameras, we had to do everything in-house. We couldn't sit outside with our Xbox or PlayStation camera holding it up to our face looking like a fool outdoors. So we needed different lightings, different things and stuff like that. And I can tell you guys right now, these same lights have been working for me since the beginning. Now, if you guys go to Walmart, you can get any type of lamps, but the thing you have to get is daylight bulbs. I will repeat this. Daylight bulbs are the best thing for your face scan. Now, if you don't get daylight bulbs or you maybe might have a better setup than someone else, get yourself a ring light. I, I, listen, I'm going to tell you now, a ring light on top of an iPhone as you're taking a facial picture in a well-lit room will do wonders. Now, remember when I said daylight, I didn't just say just light bulbs. I'm talking about actually going outside, getting some fresh air and using that to scan your face. Now, what I will say is, please do not look directly up at the sun and use that as daylight and then scan your face. When you look directly up at the sun, it is giving a different color, texture, tone, whatever to your face when you're looking up at the sun. Daylight bulbs are pure white. The sun is not. So when I'm saying use daylight outside, I mean, go outside and use maybe I would say, let's use a, 
a 3 p.m. or maybe even a 10 a.m. type of, you know, wherever the sun is in position in the sky, don't use 12 o'clock. Don't go outside at 12 o'clock. Sun straight up in the sky. So as soon as you look up, the sun is right there. You want to make sure that the sun is on an angle. So when you're taking a, the face scan, you want to make sure maybe the sun might be over here or it might be behind you or something like that. Please do not have the sun looking you directly in the face as you make your face scan because you're going to come out looking sunburned, bro. You're going to be looking like a, I mean, a toaster strudel that been sitting on the beach for four and a half hours. I'm just saying, man, you're going to get, you're going to be looking cooked. That, that's all I got to say about that. The third thing you will need is a haircut. Now, I believe to me, this is the biggest thing on the list because having a phone in this new day and age is pretty easy to have. Daylight is available to us everywhere, but a haircut fam, a haircut is a must. And the reason why I say have a haircut is because a lot of people always come up to me and say, iPod man, I've been wanting to scan my face in a game, but for some reason my beard doesn't come out right or I have to shave my entire face just to make sure it's bare so I can do whatever I want to do with 2K's hair logic. No, 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 no. What I want you guys to do now, I do this every single year and I've already started the actual, how can I say? The process, yes, the process. I've started the process to make sure my beard is the right way. So when I do scan my face into the game, the only thing that I have to put on is actually a goatee. Now, if you look at my face, I'm actually gonna get closer to you guys. Don't be weirded out. But basically, if you guys look at the side of my face, you guys will notice right here, right here. See how my beard meets right here? And it's actually a little faded here, so it's not much hair here. I'm actually growing that hair back. And the reason for this is when you scan your face in the 2K, right, and you don't have your natural beard in the game, what tends to happen is when 2K wants to put on certain uh, beards for like style one or style two or whatever the case may be, you might be missing the, the things that you need to make your beard look more natural. Your beard might look too color cutting it might look weird and it's just a whole bunch of stuff so just imagine right imagine if my beard came this low right if my beard came this low and i wanted to put a 2k beard on top of that it would look weirded out because this would be the only part that would be dark and the rest of it will be a whole different shade. So when I say bring back your natural beard if you can't grow it or whatever the case may be I ain't gonna lie I would fill it in I'm, I'm, I'm being completely honest with you guys. I would fill my beard in so that if you have patches right here and it's not growing right here, I would fill it in, man. Get one of those little chalk markers or whatever. Fill it in. Go to the barber. Let the barber bring you back and then scan your face as soon as you step out the door. Or you can wait till you get home if you got them daylight bulbs at home. But I'm telling you guys now, if you don't know how to do it yourself, make sure you guys hit up the barber. Now, if you look at my face, right? So... Right here is where my mustache is, right? I'm actually letting my beard go upwards to my cheek because honestly, 2K will do the same thing. 2K is not gonna give you too many options right here if you bring your beard like this. They won't give you too many options as far as using full beards. Everybody look like they're gonna have that James Harden beard and everybody's gonna use that K Spade beard. If you don't know what the K Spade beard is, it's basically the beard that has about this part portion of your beard is real black, dark, and full. And then you're gonna have a little bit of stubble right here and you won't be able to do anything with it because remember, you can only equip one beard now you can you know equip different accents and stuff like that but essentially it's only one beard you're using now the next thing as far as my neck goes your neck and all that will be cut off but what i'm actually doing is i'm growing this back now a lot of people don't like this portion of their beard because it always makes you look like a caveman blah 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 but the reason why i'm growing this back is because after i get my face scan i'll be able to bring back like whatever type of jawline or whatever i want to use for my beard so after i'm done face scanning i'll actually be good now if you guys notice my goatee is a little bit darker than my beard and the reason for that is i'm a goatee person i love to have a full beard with a little bit of goatee going on you know what i'm saying just a little little stubble or sometimes i like to grow it out long or whatever the case may be now what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to show you a picture of my mod player from last year in nba 2k18 me personally i love growing my beard fully 
and I love to shave it down so that you can see the shadow. So once I do the face scan, this is the standard beard in the game and nobody can take that from me. It's already there. I don't have to worry about it all year long, figuring out what I want to do with my beard. My beard is already in the game. I don't have to grow it back. I don't have to do anything else with it. And then I can cut off this excess hair up at my cheeks and stuff like that. But for right now, like I said, we are a month out. I have a month to grow a full, I'm talking about from here, full beard to the top of my cheeks that meet my uh, mustache. And then I can do whatever I want after the face scan. So remember, getting a nice beard is the top thing on your list. You want to make sure if you have a beard, make sure it's your beard and not nothing else. Make sure it's all your regular hair on the face scan before it gets inputted into the game. Because you want, you don't wanna work with just regular chin straps, skinny chin straps like 3MG, and then try to put a beard on top of that. Nah, if that's, your, if that's how you do your hair, then fine, dandy. You might have to get a blade or something like that and take all them excess hairs. Because remember, when you do a face scan and you got that can't skinny, skinny chin strap, and you got all this growing in, 2K is going to catch all that in the face scan. So you want to make sure that you got something that you're working with if that's your thing. Chin straps, make sure you shave that all the way down clean. And like I said, the same day you got it cut, do your face scan. Don't wait a day later because that 5 o'clock shadow is going to show big time. Last thing on the list before I get up out of here, guys. If you have a hairstyle on the top of your head, don't worry about it. When 2K scans your face, you're going to be bald headed and you're only going to be able to work with the hairstyles in the game. So that's really nothing you need to worry about. And also another little tidbit, make sure you keep your eyes open and your mouth closed when you're scanning your face. Because I'm telling you now, man, if you like, say, for instance, like you doing your face scan and somebody call you. Right. And you go to look over like and you make a, one small face as it's taking a picture, the whole throw the whole scan away, dog. Start over, throw the whole scan away, because that's what's going to happen to you, man. Now, another thing, a lot of people, and this, and this is uh, something that Chase Money always said to me, why I got to have a sheet behind me, dog? Why I got to have a sheet? Now, crazy thing is, once these uh, cell phones came out for the uh, scanning, we didn't really have to worry about having sheets behind us too much, but generally, having a sheet behind you is to make sure the background behind you ain't going to mess up your face scan. Like, right now, if I scan my face, right? I'm, I'm caramel complexion, but the wall behind me, that ain't caramel. So as I'm scanning my face and turning my head, it might capture a hit of that and put it into my like my jawline or stuff like that. Same thing with a green screen. I remember one time I scanned my, my face with a green screen behind me and part of my jawline was green. And I was like, what the hell? So then I was like, you know what? Let me go get a sheet. Same complexion as me. So when I scan my face and it hits them hard edges as I'm turning my head back and forth, it captured the essence, bro. Captured the essence perfectly. You know what I'm saying? So if you're still into the sheet bag and you want to do that, go ahead and get a sheet that's your complexion and then you're good to go. This is the end of this video, man. I'll definitely make a video with my tips, more tips when the face scanner app comes out for iOS or for Android, Google Play or whatever the case may be. And you guys will see that video later. But make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video and leave your comments below, man. What do you guys think about this video? Do you think it was informative? Do you think it helped you out? And if it did, you know what to do. Peace, y'all. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes, and this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.